All right, we're stuck on the road right now. The elephants are blocking cars off so we can reach in and get food. So we're just waiting to see if a big bus is gonna come by or something. We gotta team up to get by the elephant. Tuk Tuk tournament where we are driving a Tuk Tuk around Sri Lanka for two weeks. This morning is starting off with a bang. We are integrating in the culture today. Kyle, show your outfit. I've got my sarong on. And I have a sari on. And um, the first thing we're doing this morning is driving a Piaggio Tuk Tuk, which is one of our quests that we have to do. After completing our few daily morning challenges, we are off to the beautiful Nine Arches Bridge that, oh, my hair, <laughs> that is a bridge that the famous train that goes from Candy to Ella goes over. Um, and it's supposed to be so beautiful, so we're really excited. Wait. Brakes no longer working. All right, I think we're fair. Have Kyle go forward. Boom. All right. I'll break our uh, reverse. I went to put it in reverse and I heard a pop. So we took a, we didn't turn where we were supposed to and then it kind of snowballed into a lot of different things happening. Um, our, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I think we're, we should be going the right direction now. Our um, bumper is a little bit messed up, but honestly, we're just glad Misha didn't roll off the hill. Misha, glad you didn't go off the hill. <laughs> That's what we thought was happening, so <laughs> very good. <laughs> All right, we have made it to the Nine Arches Bridge and I'd say it's probably one of Sri Lanka's most Instagrammable spots. Yeah, I think so. It really is beautiful. We missed the train going by. It came by at 9.15 this morning and we weren't ready, so That's okay. we're here now. We get to see it. <laughs> the bridge is super pretty. We're just taking some pictures in front of it and then we're going to sit and look at it for a minute. But we're also watching some ladies pick some tea. And it's, I think it's really important if you come here to um, be really conscious about the fact that when you come down here, you are going into someone's farm where they are growing tea to sell. So just like going out in the United States and taking pictures in fields and stuff, like you don't want to damage people's profits. So that's super important, I think, to point out. Mm -hmm. King Coconut Refresher before we um, head back up the hill. Nine Arches Bridge is very beautiful. All right, we'll see you when we get back up to our tuk-tuk. B35 highway where 
where there is loads of wildlife and especially our big little gentle giants that if you haven't seen the last time we were up close and personal with a wild elephant did not go as planned so we're really hoping this time it's a little bit better. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. We found our first elephant. Oh my god. Hey, we're in Korean. to them after our experience and we actually just stopped a little bit past the elephant and another tuk-tuk passed it and the elephant's trunk was like inside the tuk-tuk and the kid had like the after they drove by the kid had like slime all over him from the elephant's trunk touching him all right we got another elephant ahead get a little nervous when we go past them it's pretty cool though and they're huge all right, we're stuck on the road right now. The elephant's blocking the cars off so it can reach in and get food. So we're just waiting to see if a big bus is gonna come by or something. We gotta tune them up to get by the elephant. A huge bus is going by the elephant right now and the elephant is literally reaching inside the bus. We'll go like next to them kind of. Ready, follow the speed, follow the speed. Go. like was like coming up to buses and like putting its trunk in the bus and stuff it's really hard to describe how it feels driving by it with no doors or windows where it literally just can stick its trunk into our cabin at any point in time seriously the adrenaline is like some of the most I've ever felt in my life like we just shake afterwards it's crazy plus the possibility of stalling the tube tube I just keep it revved up in like second gear the whole time. I'm not solid. <laughs> All right, so we are at our next gym after getting off of the B35 Elephant Highway. And we're just collecting this really quick. But I guess a quick note about the elephants is Maddie and I are pretty scared when we're passing by elephants in the Tuk Tuk because of the incident that we did have. but. They really are cool animals to be able to see so up close. Just respect them, that's it. We're, we're lucky that we got to see them, but we didn't get hurt or anything, so that's good. But here we go, this is our next gem. Just take a picture right here. And then tonight, I believe we're heading to Hirakatiya Beach. Right, Misha? Correct, we are going to party for Wolf's last night. Looks like one of the most beautiful beaches on the island, so that's exciting. And there's some great surf there I hear as well. Yeah, so maybe, maybe, maybe we can hang 10 tomorrow. I just met this nice young gentleman, what's your name? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> right now Steve's hard at work getting me YouTube yeah. subscribers. Kyle We got a new subscriber right here. Maddie with one D. <laughs> <laughs> hear that, Kyle and Maddie with one D. We just rolled up to an old cinema village that is abandoned and it looks like a lot of the buildings are collapsed. But we just have to take a picture in front of a bus that's in there. Probably can't really see it. It's back there. So to get into the cinema village, it is 3,650 rupees a person. Maddie and I aren't paying that because that's more than we spent on a hotel room per night if we both went in. So we're gonna pass this one. <laughs> Looks really cool, but we saw it from the outside. <laughs> Steve's over there telling the lady that it's a lot of money to get in. <laughs> I, I feel like you guys are definitely going to pass on that. Yeah, you can go in if you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, we did get a photo from the street over there of the bus. We did. We did. <laughs> All right, next gem location. We're going to take a quick picture and get out again. Let's 
to use buying some flowers. Lotus, I think. Hey, what's the importance of the flowers that you just bought? So, here at Buddhist sacred areas, this isn't necessarily a temple, this is a stupa, still a sacred area. It is uh, very good to give, uh, I don't know, how would you say this? I think it's, um, it's, it's a blessing to yes. give yeah. these flowers to Buddha at sacred places. They're always being sold at these places, so. All right, you ready to head out? I really have to pee, like, bad. All right, before we hit the road for another hour and 45 minute drive, Maddie is on a mission to go pee. And we're gonna also, uh, <laughs> and we're gonna also find some food to eat. Shocking the lack of food around here. I love how they put it just in pieces of paper. I know. It's actually better than plastic. I do appreciate that. No. All right, Steve go. and I got some short eats, and Maddie and Misha are finding a bathroom right now. Oh, that's so, where they are. Yeah. What is what is this? This uh, egg rolls. Egg roll? Egg roll, vegetable. Yeah, you found this guy on the cart. Let's see. Oh, yes. Vegetable? Yes. Yes. How much for one? 80 rupees. 80 rupees? Yes. Can we get... Let's have four. Yeah. All right, we have our saving grace for food right now. A little food cart rolled by. It's 80 rupees per little vegetable roll, so we're going to get one of those. It's in bed. Here's five for you. Keep the gin. Oh, thank you. Well, I think Maddie and Misha got to go to the bathroom, and Steve and I, we got a lot of food. Fried vegetable roll. It's delicious. It's spicy as always. Oh yeah, it's a little spicy. <clears throat> Everything is spicy here in Sri Lanka. The bus just pulled up next to Steve and I. It's one of those crazy buses that Maddie and I took all the way from Colombo to Urugum Bay. He's asking if I'll come on. Hello. Crazy. Just a party bus, man. It's not full right now, but they do get really full. Alright, it's really hot on there. And those buses are just crazy. All right, Maddie and Misha are finally getting back. Give her some food. Get away! I'm like, oh, I'm starving. The hot. Yeah, spicy. I'm hungry though. <laughs> All right, Maddie and I have a two-hour drive left. About. Hour 45, and we don't want to bore you. It's gonna get dark, so we're just gonna end our day here with you guys. And tomorrow we'll catch back up to you, and hopefully we'll be waking up on the beach. Oh, so. Go surfing, do a lot of beach things. Should be fun. See you tomorrow.